Good morning, everyone. A couple of things I want to talk about. Number one, I remember when this, about the time this channel first started, every Tuesday there was banging and heavy machinery running outside, and there was all this stuff going on. And now today, I don't know what they're doing in the building across the street from me, but apparently they felt the need to start at like 8 a.m. And when I heard the, what looks like a dumpster being moved in, that's where my heart just sank. Oh boy. So I apologize for the noise, and I hope my voice picks up a little, uh, picks up a little better than, uh, their noise does. I don't know that that's going to be the case, so I make no promises. But rest assured, this will be happening all throughout the reading. Yay. Another thing I wanted to talk about, this little milestone quietly just crept up on me. If this were a game of Assassin's Creed, I'd be dead. Because I just found out, not maybe a couple of days ago, that this, cha this channel on YouTube is now at 100 subscribers. I don't know how to thank you for that. I really don't. That is, uh, uh, I will be honest, I didn't think this channel would ever reach 100 subscribers anywhere. When I started this channel, I only started with, I think, 30. And we have, um, we have lost a subscriber or two along the way. That happens. No big deal. Some people, uh, you know, they feel welcome here, they come here, and you know, they get what they need, and they go on. That's exactly what this channel was built for. And I'll be honest with you, it, it's probably gone on a little longer than that, but the thing is, I, I handle this just as I always have. Post the videos, go to work. <laughs> That's it. Saves me a lot of time, a lot of stress. I do read every comment because there aren't many. The good, the bad, the ugly, and the troll. And speaking of which, you know what, if I remember, I'll post some screenshots I took. The Protestants were big mad yesterday over on Cloud Hub. Ooh, I stoked their ire. And I got the same batch of uh, bumper sticker slogans I usually get. And yeah, it was pretty cringe. Um... I ended up showing the tribe what was going on. They were talking, we were talking about uh, something, I can't remember exactly what now, but we got on the subject of um, just how ignorant some people can be in any religion, ours, espe ours especially. 
And, uh, yeah, I was like, speaking of ignorance, and I posted the, uh, screenshots, and they're like, oh my god, oh no, oh, really? Yep, really, really and truly, and it went on longer than that. I really only checked the, uh, notifications when and where I could, because I was at work, didn't have a, a lot of time to do that. Hold on just a second here. But anyway, I only... I only check the messages when and where I could. I, you know, my job at, at a pharmacy is a very, very busy, busy uh, time. So not a lot of downtime. So on my break, you know, here and there, just when and where I could, I checked on them. And when and where I could, I posted back. I responded. <sighs> but I liken it to this. Getting pissed at me over my spirituality is a little like getting pissed at me for having a cheeseburger when you're the one on a diet. And it's just as stupid. Anyway. That is the noise I'm talking about right there. Like I said, I have no idea what they're doing. All I know is that the almost the entire front of the building across from me is covered in tarp. I'm not sure what that machine is either. By the way, just so I don't have to make a post credit scene, HeathenSoulLore.net, you go there. You purchase the ebook or the soft cover, I give you four readings and a birthday reading for a total of five. If you buy the hardcover black and white, it's five readings and a birthday reading for a total of six. And if you purchase the hardcover full color book, readings for an entire year from the date of purchase. If you don't want to purchase yourself that book or for someone else, and you still want readings, you can throw me something off my Amazon wish list. <coughs> Sorry. You can throw me something off my Amazon wish list, or you can bring, be a subscriber. There's a hundred of you on YouTube, so this can happen. Bring a friend. If they name you, each one of you gets a free reading. And guess what? That system is fully gameable. So if you, if you bring five friends... Each one of your friends gets a reading, you get five. See how that works? <clears throat> that, that system was designed to be gamed, like, from the start, so... <clears throat> Sorry, I gotta take a sip of tea here. Man. Okay, there we go. That should be a little better. <clears throat> Nothing, just sinuses again. Post nasal drip, messing with my voice. Anyway, starting with you, <clears throat> Mani. We've been talking a lot about the moon lately. Well, Mani is the god that carries the moon. He's in his chariot. He is being chased by a wolf. This is where you become a little brutally honest today. Now, there are days we have to use tact, there are days that we have to use a little delicate handling. Your situation today may not call for that. We'll get to that in just a moment. We also have the Well of Weird, or the Well of Erd, and depending on, you know, who's talking about it. <clears throat> this is the Well that Odin looked down into as he hung from the tree Yggdrasil. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> as he hung from the tree and he, fi he finally saw the runes and when the rope snapped he fell and collected them screaming. <clears throat> But this is where you're going to have to exercise a little bit of your own power today. And that's what this well is. 
It is a real force in the u universe, so your power is real. I know right here in the lower third, along the screen, you will you usually see the words believe in your own magic. Well, that is true today. So don't dwell on the past. You will miss your present and thus your opportunity to direct your future. Everything is connected. Even apparently external influences affect us. <clears throat> I can tell you a little story about that. See, back when I was a young lad, I was attending, uh, <coughs> sorry, okay, so, as a young lad, I attended, you know, Sunday schools and, uh, catechism classes and all that kind of stuff, and in every one of them, they were always warning about Dungeons and Dragons and heavy metal music and ooh, wearing black and boys growing your hair. That's not acceptable. <clears throat> and for years I believed it. They told us some pretty scary stuff and one of the claims... <clears throat> I'm sorry, I don't know what's going on with, my, with this post-nasal drip thing. It hasn't bothered me all morning, now it's bothering me. Anyway, one of the claims that was made was, oh yes, the little figurines. Well, during gameplay, one of those little figurines was tossed in a fire and it emitted a scream from the soul trapped within it. Now, that's where a little red flag got raised. I'm serious. That's where a little red flag got raised. Because I remembered something. <clears throat> I actually had two Dungeons & Dragons action figures that were given to me as a, as a small child. I also had some, like, um, you know, plastic armor and sword sets and things like that. <clears throat> and these were also from a Dungeons & Dragons toy line. I also watched the cartoon that uh, the animated series that was on back in the day so I didn't quite understand right then right then when that little red flag popped up how how was that possible what was in those books that would contain such mystical you know evil so uh, one day I was hanging out at a friend's house and another friend came over and he had the intro to Advanced Dungeons and Dragons. We sat down, we played it, uh, we played it the next day, we played it over an entire summer and I found out it's complete crap. There's nothing in here. Then we got the player's handbook and the Dungeon Master's Guide and the Monster Manual and we we poured through those books. There was nothing in there but gameplay, rules, tables, and that sort of thing. And it was then that I realized I was being lied to. Now, here I am today at 43, and I'm doing this. I've never been happier, never been more at peace with myself, and, uh, yeah, it, it's a great time. But here's the, here's the point. If you want to stop losing people, and you want to tell them that this is deception, perhaps stop engaging in deception yourself. Not that hard. Let's get down to the uh, runes here, shall we? So we have Ivaz, Ingvaz, holy crap, wow. and Avaz. Alright, so, we're looking at growth, we're also looking at fertility, unity, a little bit of that masculine power today, but we're also looking to we're also looking at movement. Now, Monty rides a chariot that is forward movement. We're looking at possible changes coming up, and this is the thing that I've argued throughout the readings that we've been doing lately. One of the points that came up, and I have to put this out there, with Awas symbolizing the yew tree, the yew. The wood from the yew tree is very, very flexible. It's also very strong, very powerful. 
and it can be changed into many things like bows, you know, staffs, staffs for uh, spears and that sort of thing. So it's a very versatile, and we need to be very versatile today. We need to, we need to just cut, you know, today is a day not to come into your power. You should already be in it, ladies and gentlemen. Today is a day to realize it, to put it out there, to say, here it is. Here's what I can do. Here's where I'm going to be the badass today. Now, many of us, myself included, we're here today, we're here every day, we show up every day that we can because we want to change our situation. It's important that we change ourselves first. You have to see what isn't working. You know, this also represents unity. That's right there. If we're going to unify or we're going to uh, come together, the hard truth of the matter is that there is no way you can you can engage in divisive top. You can't engage in divisiveness and say that it's okay when I do it. It just does not work. If your complaint that is that there is too much division in the world, <clears throat> then don't be part of it. Disengage from it. Stop making excuses. Stop othering. Stop othering each other. I mean, look, I'm I'm right dead in the center of it. I can tell you this right now. I'm a Nazi to some, and I'm a devil worshiper to others. There I am, right there in the middle. Now I've got two polar opposites, and let me tell you something. This is this and the events around me personally have illustrated the point I've made this whole time. If you ever doubt that you are the most powerful being that you know, when you're with your group of friends, take a dissenting opinion and see what happens. Try to make your case dispassionately and fairly, but try presenting a differing point of view. See what happens. And when you're around the other group, try offering a dissenting opinion. See what happens. You will see, because this will show you, if you really feel the need to experiment, this is, this is the way to go. Th what I'm giving you will actually clearly indicate exactly what I'm saying, because both groups, both extremes, have such an overwhelming need to have you on their side and if you're not on their side then you're with the other side and if you're with the other side you are nothing without them if both sides claim that you're nothing without them then I think the opposite is true they are nothing without you they have nothing without you you that I'm talking to right now, you watching this. You can affect the change that you need in your life today. It doesn't have to be complete and total. It can be a start. So start. This is the same thing from last time. You want peace in the world? Make peace with yourself. You want lack of division around you? Stop othering pe other people. It's that simple. You do you unshakably. Have no concern for the criticisms of those who would other. Pay no attention. Pay no heed. Let them do it to themselves. Let them tear themselves apart. They're not your responsibility. But only 
by bettering yourself can you better your situation. And it's that simple, ladies and gentlemen. There, there's nothing else there. But if you want, you can be flexible. You can move between. You can, you can do what you do. Because you will be trustworthy. People will see that. People will know that by your deeds. You can bring unity. And you can move forward. But you have to be at peace with you. You have to stop othering other people. And when I say othering other people, I mean, you know, you have to quit roundly rejecting people based on, like, one disagreement. It's just stupid at this point. But overall, Monty's saying, I don't have time to explain, kid. Get in the fucking chariot. And you have to believe in the magic of your own deeds. What's that old saying? By their works, you will know them. If you'll do for one, do for do for everyone in your dealings today be firm and this is going to come straight out of straight out of my corrections days but it's 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 actually pretty true be firm be fair and be consistent but remember to be a little flexible it doesn't mean you have to be rigid it just means you have to be a little flexible but what you'll do for one, you have to also do for someone else. And you have to be willing to do that. It's the only way to achieve this. I don't know how else to tell you. Thank you for bearing with me. Thank you for bearing with all the noise that those jokers outside are making. I know, they're just doing their jobs. That's all. Just wish they had waited like a little while longer. <sighs> I love you all. Take care of yourselves and each other. Always do what lights you up at every opportunity. And as always, my friends, family, neighbors, and tribe, shine on.